Hello, Francoise here to introduce you to one of the new stamp sets from my new collection, which I call the plant collection um, because it's all about indoor plants and flowers. So um, I'm going to be using uh, one of the stamp sets today to create this card here. And I'm going to be showing you how to create the snowy effect on this panel. So let me run you through what you actually need to create this card. You need some uh, white coconut card. That's what I'm working on from Creative Expressions. Um, you will need uh, the stamp set, which is called Floral Bouquet. This is what it looks like. It's pretty self-contained. It has greetings, it has the main image, and it has a little flower stamp, which you can use to add additional flowers or to create some backgrounds. You've got basic greetings in here. Happy birthday and thank you with love and from me to you. So this is Floral Bouquet, bouquet and the code is FRS888, Floral Bouquet. You will need some clear embossing powder. I'm using the, uh, from Cosmic Shimmer, I'm using the detailed embossing powder, although this technique would work equally well with the standard. Um, I like to keep my embossing powder in a container, makes it much easier to use and to get to it. And it's something that I use all the time. You will need some uh, watercolour inks, so let me grab those for you. You will need the Lime Sherbet, Ray of Sunshine, Pink Flamingo, Peacock Teal. You will need a black ink pad. I'm using a black VersaFine ink pad, my preferred ink pad to go to. Set yourself up with some water and you will need a couple of brushes. And so I've bought in a detail brush and I, one of my favorite brushes, which is this little flat end brush, which is really great for doing this sort of random color technique. You need some kitchen roll, your heat gun. I have finished off the card with this lovely frame. And for that I've used one of Sue Wilson's um, a collection of dies from the Noble collection, which is the postage stamp frame. As you can see, nice large big dies, plenty of dies. I've used the largest die out of the collection to create this frame. So without further ado, let me get started on showing you the technique for creating this panel. So I'll put my card to one side. So I've already pre-stamped my image here and I've embossed it with clear powder and what you need to do is you need to get your embossing powder and you're going to sprinkle it on just like you do with salt because we only want sort of small amounts of the powder over the image. If you put too much on then obviously there's nothing to paint but we want to create that resist snowy effect, as I call it. So once you've applied your embossing powder, you're gonna take your heat gun and you're gonna heat from underneath. Okay, so you don't heat from the top because there's nothing holding the powder in place. You have to heat it from underneath. So I would carry on and I would heat all that up to make sure that the powder has actually melted on the surface. So there's one that I've done that's ready. Okay. And I've got my inks ready as well. Now I couldn't find my palette. So what I've done is I've taken a block and, and put a bit of white card underneath. And that way I can see my inks on there. It mimics like a a white palette so it's a good tip if you can't find your palette my craft space is in a bit of a mess at the moment then you can use just a clear acrylic block and some cut white card underneath so we're going to start off with the lightest color for painting now we're not going to paint in detail so we're not going to go in and paint each flower individually or each leaf individually we're just going to do some random color patches 
but you can sort of decide what color you want your flowers to sort of be. So I want sort of the yellow over my daisies. And like I said, we're not painting detail, we're just applying patches of color. If you want to be more specific at some space and actually sort of make certain little bits stand out a little bit more, you can actually work into the space. So here I'm making the leaves just pop a little bit more by adding a little bit of that colour. And I can add a little bit down the bottom here to make the base of the vase stand out. If you want to, you can also mix your colours on your tile. So if I take some of the pink and then I take some of the teal, I can then mix this sort of purple actually here on the tile and I can work with that. So you can start off with a limited amount of colours and then build up extra colours along the way, either mixing it on the card or actually mixing them on the palette. Just add a bit of colour here. And that's about as much as I would do and then I would take some kitchen roll and I would just gently mop up and then I would put my panel to one side to dry. So let me bring the card back in quickly so that you can see. That's the panel I've just created. This is the panel on the card. I've mounted it on some turquoise blue card and then added some frame, my frame, added a ribbon, my greeting and some sequins to finish it off. You can do this technique with any of the colored inks that we have in this range. Here are a couple more images for you to see and to whet your appetite for your, the new stamps that are just literally coming out. And that's how I do my snowy technique on my card. Mm -hmm. 